Hello guys and welcome to Code Corbett. In this video, I will show you how to implement this splash screen before we navigate to the home screen. So let's get started. All right, I've already created a Flutter project and I only have my app and my app has material app and nothing in the home. So I will create a splash to call it from the home. So I will create as default and call it splash. And instead of returning a container, we will return a scaffold and we're not gonna set an up bar we're gonna just give it a background and let's say colors dot amber and we're, we're gonna give it a body and the body is actually center and inside the center as a child we're gonna have a column and we're gonna set the main axis alignment to center as well now the children of the, co the column we will have first image dot asset the logo so i'll create a folder inside here and i'll call it assets so i will copy my image logo dot png and i will paste it inside the assets and hit enter now we will go to popspec.yaml and we're gonna edit the assets it's here so i'm gonna uncomment this and shift tab then tap once and I'm gonna edit this to assets slash and click pop get and after pop spec dot yaml finish close it and click get dependency and minimize this now we're gonna use assets slash logo dot png and we're gonna set the height approximately 130 is good after it we're gonna set const sized box size box and we're gonna give it a height of maybe 30 as well now we want to show a circular indicator but we're gonna check if it's android or ios so we're gonna use if platform dot is ios since if it's ios we're gonna use cupertino activity cupertino activity indicator and we're gonna give it a radius of maybe 15 is good I think and we're gonna set this to const so it doesn't complain now else we're gonna use normal circular progress indicator and we're gonna change the background color or only the color to colors dot white and make this const as well now if we rerun our app let's see how will it appear so let's rerun it and see how will it appear all right i think 20 is better than 15 so let's set this to 20 and let's save it okay that does look now better all right now if you want to you can just use um circular progress indicator and don't use uh, Cupertino activity indicator that's also fine you can use whatever you want or you can use Cupertino activity indicator and don't use circular progress indicator for both Android and iOS and that's completely up to you but I'm gonna keep it as that and now after a certain time we're gonna need to navigate to the home page so I will create a stylus and I'm gonna call it home and instead of returning a container I'm just gonna return a scaffold with an app bar and app bar now inside the app bar I'm just gonna give it a background color and the same colors colors.amber and then I'm gonna give it a title and let's say const text just home now I will go back to the splash and inside here inside the init state I'll create future dot delayed and const duration and let's say we want seconds with the three seconds and after this finishes we want navigator dot push and we want to replace it so push replacement and in the new route 
we're gonna use material page route and in the builder set context context and then just give it const home and that's it okay now and a semicolon here now that's it so let's rerun it again and see how it appears okay and after three seconds it will navigate to the home and with no back arrow in the scaffold so that was it now if you want to if you want to animate this splash screen i will keep a link in the description for that and i highly don't recommend doing this approach if you're not instead of waiting three seconds in the init state if you have an api and you want to fetch some data before you you navigate the user to the home screen you can do it in here and after the api finishes fetching you can navigate to but if you don't have anything like that then i don't recommend that you use this way i recommend you use the native splash screen and i will keep links in the description for that as well so thank you guys for watching and if you like the video subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our content and comment down below and i will see you in the next video